going on guys welcome back to the channel big video because today we're finally going to be doing exhaust to my a90 supra something from our friends at extreme online store guys go check out the video description for discount codes they don't just have super stuff they have lots of other different cars they've got mustang stuff camaro stuff corvette stuff guys this is a big company but this behind us is something newer to the market for the a90 supra and i'm excited to be able to showcase this to you install on the car we're going to be doing some sound clips before and after this car has a catless downpipe as we go through this video so it's going to sound maybe different than your setup so what we're going to do is go back here show you all of the exhaust components i've got everything laid out dress right dress and it is beautiful and it's very 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 affordable but let's wake this thing up let's add some more noise some more horsepower to our a90 super with extreme online stores new supra exhaust system let's check it out excuse my messy garage this is the new system so this is a valveless system. I've got everything dress right dress. That way you guys can get a good idea of what you're going to be getting whenever you spend the cheap price that this comes in at, but cheap does not so far reflect what I see as far as quality. Everything is really, really nice. All T304 stainless steel. Got five inch exhaust tips. We have really good bracketry here, clamps, screws everything we've got uh, our separation plate which will come in handy to uh, make sure that everything is fitting like it's supposed to in the back this is a straight through design kind of muffler here yeah everything is really good so look at the welds yeah check that out look at the welds are really really nice has a very nice like polished kind of finish to it and then this works with aftermarket and OEM downpipes. So they give you everything that you're going to need for your installation. This is really, really nice stuff. So again, look at the welds. Everything looks really good, especially for the price of this kit. It is amazing so far. We're gonna breeze through the install. So installing a cat back is really simple on one of these cars. So we're not gonna beat that to death because I think that what most people are gonna care about, at least I do, is if there's any hiccups or any alignment issues, we will cover that if they show up. I think that at least by looking at it, it's gonna fit perfectly fine. Then we're gonna do a driving review of how everything sounds, how everything compares, if there's any drone, if there's any cons or any of that. I think that you're gonna to wanna to know how it uh, you know, performs, how it sounds, what it's like to live with. Keep it as detailed as possible. Let's get some cold starts, let's get some revs, come back in the garage, install our new exhaust system from Extreme Online Store and go from there. Installation is complete. I gotta say, this is really impressing me. So this may, we'll find out in just a second when we start this up, because we are ready at that point. But I gotta say that uh, if this sounds good, this may be the ticket. Let's go under the car. It's dark, but so all the way from the downpipe back, we have no fitment issues whatsoever. Everything is seamless. I know we're all up close and personal with the exhaust, but hey, this is what you want to see. So everything is perfect. I didn't have to fight nothing at all. The welds are perfect. They all look really good. All the pipes fit into each other perfectly. I didn't have to mess with anything, which is really interesting. Even in the past on really expensive systems on like Mustangs and whatever, um, you do have to fight with the system a little bit and you may have to bend this or that. But with this system, it has been like 10 out of 10 perfect going on as far as the fitment go because that was another concern of mine in the back as far as like tip fitment because we don't want this thing to look like trash so let me show you that all right so 
This is your center connection piece. You're gonna to have to spend some time finessing this thing back and forth. So if you have any fitment issues with this, you gotta go back and just you know tighten from the front back and then mess with this and these clamps here and get this to be perfect. But this is the fitment with the five inch tips inside of the diffuser. Come to this side. And you can see that we are symmetrical on both sides. Lots of space centered perfectly in this little cutout. And to get the far away shot, so from a distance, this is how it all comes together. This has a 10 out of 10 perfect fitment. So now it is time to lower this car down and do our first cold start with our new Extreme Online Store Supra exhaust. Let's go. So that is really, oh, this is way up close to me. Okay. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. That's really, really impressive. That sounds good. So I gotta say from initial startup, that is amazing. I was really scared to death, scared to death that with the catless downpipe that we were gonna sound too obnoxious. And honestly, that's a little bit louder in stock, but it's got a cleaner sound to it. That is amazing. guys let's talk about it this thing retails like under $700 so what are the pros and cons to a budget friendly exhaust system for your a90 super because there's so many different options out there that cost so much money now I want to really highlight the sound is subjective okay so you know I am after a certain tone this one is very satisfying I've had it for a couple of days now I haven't really been able to drive that much because of weather and then obviously I apologize for the wind noise during the audio clip I can't help it, but it is time to do a fast little ride along and let you guys hopefully be able to hear what this thing sounds like inside of the cabin. So let's fire it up. And so initial fire up, uh, you do hear still the exhaust burbles and the bangs and the pops and stuff like that, but they are kind of muffled in a different way. They're a lot deeper. If I had to describe this system in one word, it would be deep. So I have a catless downpipe and I was running the OEM exhaust and it sounds good. It's a little bit high pitched for me and not as clean sounding, but it didn't sound bad. This is like the opposite end of that. This is extremely deep. Uh, the packing and the mufflers, they're a little bit different than some of the others that are out there. So will that break down or, or break in and get louder over time? Time will tell. I can always keep you guys updated. We can do follow up videos or whatever, but the quality, the fit finish, the parts, the metal parts, and this one fit together seamlessly like I had zero hiccups whatsoever the fit finish the welds everything about it was absolutely 10 out of 10 perfect so with that out of the way you know is this worth 700 bucks let's uh, let's answer that question let's shut up and go for a drive and let you guys listen to it hopefully be able to describe so we put it so I'm in sport mode hopefully I can uh, tell you guys what I'm able to hear on camera. So you still hear the burbles, but they're kind of muffled and more bassy, if that makes any sense. Let's hit some back roads here, some twists and turns. It is definitely a lot more throaty in the inside of the cabin. Um, I was on the highway the other day, there was a little bit of drone Maybe it's just the actual tone. Maybe it's not true. Maybe it's the tone of the mufflers themselves because they're just so deep. But 
not, and we'll put that to the test too, we'll put it on the highway. But let me shut up and let's just kind of listen to the exhaust a little bit. remember I'm catless so anytime that you put exhaust systems on these Supras and they're catless uh, it, it can be finicky depending on what brand you go with I, I'm pleased to say that this one is very clean and sporty sounding so it's almost like you're running one of those louder systems out there of other brands but with your OEM cat catted downpipe and here we are catless we're free flowing and it's like the same clean kind of noise that you get it's great so you hear the pops they're still loud this is definitely a louder system than what we had before, the way the car was set up. We are hauling butt. These cars are so fast. In, in case you're wondering, just maybe curious, uh, what the mods on the car are. It's, it's, so I've got a JB4, I've got an intake, and then I've got a custom map on map six with an E30 blend and that's pretty much the highlight of the performance uh, that I have inside of this super so far. So I don't know what to make it to the wheels. I don't know what kind of power is making it to the wheels, but it's properly quick for a uh, street car. I'm still in sport mode, buzz about 3000 RPM, but we're going to try to pay attention to drone. So there is a difference between tone and drone, and maybe this is a little bit confusing because the, the exhaust is so deep that it, it can be hard to tell. Um, so typically at highway speeds, you're gonna hear around 2000 RPM or so on and so forth. You're gonna hear that really annoying, just drony, ear piercing, can't carry on a conversation, just unpleasant noise. And I, I'm happy to say that with this, it's not terrible. There is some of that, but you're always gonna hear exhaust, typically, um, unless it's completely drone free. Some of the other systems out there completely shut up. But let's be honest, this thing costs almost $2,000 less than uh, the different competitors out there. So maybe a little drone is not that bad. Now, for example, for example, my buddy has a RK Titanium single exit and it also does absolutely drone on the highway but it's a lot of money and they're very hard to get this one is in stock right now so like i said in the beginning of the video follow the links down in the description and then i'll probably pin it into the first comment as well follow that one and buy from that link and really appreciate it if you use that link because it lets you know the company know that i was able to help you out and uh anyway last i checked they had stock so get yours now because i don't think that these are going to last because the price is so good i mean at the end of the day all these different exhausts make noise inside of the car and that's what you want and uh you know do you want to spend big money on a system or is this one completely fine because i'm telling you the build quality the material used all t304 stainless steel all the connections all the exhaust clamps everything about this was good it's just got a different uh style muffler compared to some of the other brands out there. I'm just trying to keep this video as detailed as possible. So let's go ahead and uh, let's repeat what we did earlier. Sounds good. It sounds really delicious. It 
such a clean sound. It's it's definitely more bassy and boomy compared to some of the others that I've heard, which is not a bad thing. It's it's very sporty, very sporty, but louder than stock, which is exactly what you want. So for those wondering, I do have the noise turned off to come through the speakers that is like that from the factory. That is all uh, Beamer coated out. So all the noise is coming from the exhaust itself and not from the speakers, just to clarify. And that's definitely the way that you should run your Super as well, in my opinion. The noise coming from the speaker sounds good, very exotic, but it's fake at the end of the day. We want to hear exhaust. And that's what this is all about, is the noise coming from the back of the car. This thing rips on the road great. So out here doing crazy speed and it's sounding good. You can still hear the intake noises over the exhaust, which is something I didn't want to lose. I didn't want something so obnoxiously loud that I was going to lose, you know, the audible suction noises coming from the turbo and the intake. So it's kind of a symphony in here, if that makes sense. We've got all the noises up front, we also have noises in the back, and it is perfect. All right guys, back at the garage, let's finish up this video and let you know my thoughts. So the build quality, everything about it, the price is perfect. Uh, the noise that it makes is very sporty, it's very deep, it's very menacing, it's very aggressive. Now, I will say that I think that if you're running this system, you probably just wanna go ahead and go catless if you can, or at least a high flow cat, because this might be a little too quiet if you don't have uh, a downpipe. So yeah, I think it's definitely worth every bit of the price that it is. And am I happy with it? Absolutely. And I think that uh, it's something that you might want to look at, might want to consider if you were exhaust shopping for your Supra. There's a ton of companies out there, but if you like this one, check out the video description, check out the links below. I think that they still have a bunch in stock, but I think that they are also selling them out pretty quick because of the price. So anyway, I digress. If you guys like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. Please subscribe. If you like super content, uh, we do a lot of it here. So hopefully this video was able to help you out in some manner, some way, some fashion, um, if you are in the market for something like this. So the next video we're gonna be doing some suspension stuff. Uh, finally, we're gonna lower this car and get it sitting right with our new wheels. With all that said, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, have a great day, God bless all of you, and goodbye, bye.